Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know, my name is Brooklyn. If you already know, hey. So, thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. Today, I do have a hair review for Love Me Hair. So, this is something different and I feel like a lot of my African American girlies will love. So, you guys know it comes with the pamphlet for the instructions on how to take care of your wig. It also comes with a wig cap. And this was something new that I got that I was super excited about, but it looks like a bonnet. I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to save it for the video, so I will open that. But I did want to show you guys what came in this, which is an elastic band, which I am going to use with the you know velcro strap and then it came with an edge brush as well and you know this is the wig so this is the bonnet and it is very stretchy it's also ah, reversible Let's see. oh and this is on your snug <laughs> This is so cute. I can't wait. Because I needed a bonnet too. And that's so funny because I don't know what happened to mine. So this came in handy. I'm super excited about that. So let's get into the wig. So this is the wig. It is a kinky straight. And it does have. 4C edges. I don't know if you guys can tell. Mm -hmm. So we will be installing this and I will show you guys. But, um, oh, and then here, let me show you guys the inside of what the wig looks like. It is a closure wig and it comes with the adjustable band to hook onto these to make it tighter if you need to so we're going to get into bleaching this and one of my girlies asked me to show uh me bleaching the knots so that is something that i'm going to show in this i do okay yeah i'll show you guys one second okay so i don't have the container that it came into but it's bw2 um, I think the brand's Clearo. I don't know. I don't know if it's the same. But this is what I use. Um, the volume doesn't matter for me because it just depends on. <coughs> oh my God, it's getting my throat. Ugh. It just depends on how much you decide to um use like if you do hair you'll know but i'm just using 20 because that's what i have and sometimes when i'm doing hair i'm multitasking so um i use 20 so i could leave it on and i don't have to sit there you know watch it so um i usually use a plastic cup or something but this is what i have and i don't use this and i use a plastic knife um, I heard people also like spoons. Now, usually I use one scoop of this, but I don't have the scooper, so I'm just going to measure it. And so, usually I make mine on a thicker side, like a paste, but I'm not... Oh, So, I'm not... <coughs> Jesus. I'm not doing the paste since mine's is only 20, um, 20 for the volume. And with um, the bleach, it gets thick and then it starts to dry out when it's not working anymore, when it processed already. So that's why mine's isn't gonna be on the thicker side since I do have to process it. I'm not gonna say longer, but 
just to make sure so I don't have to bleach it again. So usually I do uh, I do mine to like this consistency. Ugh! Consistency. Where it's like really stuck on her. Okay, so this is the consistency that I am doing it for. Where it's not like super watery, but it's not super thick. So you're just gonna take it and you're gonna put it along the inside of the lace and you want to make sure that you get up here where the baby hairs are but you want to make sure these aren't like like the hair isn't flat onto the um it's not flat onto the lace or you will bleach it and then you're gonna have to cut it or pluck it out so you can use a hot comb to smooth it back but they're sticking up so i don't have to worry about that so it's gonna be hard to show you how i put it on there but I'll try. So you want to just hold it up and just like, oh, literally. This is hard. You want to spread it on like that. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the inside fully covered. And when you're putting it on, you don't want to press it in, you just want to lay it on top. So it doesn't seep through and dye the hair. Because then you'll have to use like black spray to cover it up or go over it with black dye. So you let that process. It usually takes about 25 minutes depending on the volume that you use. And also depending on the quality of the hair. But I'm just going to let that sit. And then I'm going to use my Shimmer Light Shampoo to... um wash the lace and i'm gonna leave it on i usually leave it on for about five to ten minutes just to get the brassiness from bleaching the hair so after i do that i'll be back okay so um i am back and i tried to add some more light in here so it's easy to see so yes i do have my hair in a ponytail and i will be taking it out just has somewhere to go this weekend so i bleached the hair but I did what I told you guys not to do and I actually like you guys can't tell let me see but you guys can see where it's brown so I'm gonna kind of show you guys how you could like temporarily fix that but good thing it didn't get super light <laughs> but I couldn't believe I did that while I'm telling you guys what not to do um so yeah I'm going to take my ponytail off and then I'll be back once I have my hair slicked back into a low ponytail. Okay, so now that we are all slicked back, I'm going to show you guys how the wig looks on my head. And I'm going to tighten it just to make sure that it's not too tight or too loose. So I'm just going to adjust it and try it on just to see if it's to my liking. And I might cut these combs out because I never use them. And I hate when they get like snagged on my hair. Okay, so this is to the tightness that I need. So this is what the hair looks like. I just washed it and um, I then I blow dry. I let it air dry. This hair is like so big, but it's so cute. I would wear a poofy like this. So I think I'm gonna do just a middle part um like with it straight i also want to show you guys that you can switch this to ah, a side part if you do want to wear it onto the side part you'll just turn it like that make sure the part of the wig is behind your wig I means behind your ear and see how i have the laced hair to here and then you would just take the hair hot coming down and then it'll be flat like that so you can wear it in the side part. So for people who feel like they can't maintain 
uh, frontal, you can also do that. So I'm just gonna pluck this and I'm gonna be back once it's all plucked. This is what the hairline looks like. These are the baby hairs. I'm gonna pull them down and then pluck behind it. So I'll see you guys in a second. So I just got done plucking the hair and this is what the hairline is looking like. <laughs> okay. And this is Oh, I'm sorry. Let me push these back. And once I, you know, straighten it out or whatever, like smooth the back, this is how it will look with the hair pushed back. Okay, so I feel like it's going to be kind of hard to see what the hairline like really looks on my head because of how okay let me try to reposition my setup so i could so you guys can actually see the lights up close and everything give me a second okay so i think this might be kind of better so this is what we are looking like i haven't put any makeup on the lace or anything and if you see me guys looking this way, um, I'm looking into the mirror. I had to kind of like move y'all. Because if I would have put y'all directly in front of me, I wouldn't have been able to see myself. And then the ring light and the um, phone wouldn't have been able to fit. So you see how, you know, I over bleached that. I am going to show you guys how I fixed that. I just want to kind of like get this in the middle. So. Okay, as of right now, I feel like that's in the middle. So these are called, you know, the 4C hinges. You know, it's giving real natural. Okay, so I'm sorry, y'all. My phone ended up cutting off and dying. But I went ahead and straightened this side. <laughs> I love this so much. So I have only smoothed out the roots of this when I plucked it, but I haven't smoothed out the rest because I wanted to show you guys how it looked without me doing it. But this hair is like so soft, it's so cute, it's easy to straighten. So I want to show you guys this side compared. So you guys see the difference? This is still cute. So um, I'm just going to show you guys how easy it was to straighten this up. So yeah, let's get into it. And so whenever I fly iron this side, I didn't take the hot comb to any of my sections while I was going through. I am, it's just I'm using heat. So I am in my bathroom and I didn't want it to get 
too hot in here and I started sweating because I did put pants on for the video. So the elevator up to the room, shower up and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone. What numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a man. Hit another one, it goes green. Must have changed foes on the team. Remember when you let me in? So I think I'm actually going to take that and smooth that in. But this is literally what the hairline looks like. But I think I actually just want to put the makeup on, cut the lace, so I sh can show you guys what we're looking like. Okay, so I'm going to make me my scissors up here, but my makeup isn't, so I'm going to have to go downstairs to get it. But let me actually take this off so I can cut it. This is what we are looking like not too bad okay. okay so i have my makeup shade and i hope this is the right shade because i actually think i got lighter okay so we'll see oh that actually turned out to be perfect okay let's see Oh, this is so perfect. You can't even, you can't even tell. I definitely thought that I was gonna have to go darker. Let me show you up. This is completely blueless. I haven't put anything down. So for my edges of my hair, I am going to go a little darker. see just a tad bit Okay, this is completely clueless. I, I am loving this. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this to flatten everything out. Swing, that was 2017. All good, to look around. Find one to see my type. Yeah, my dog, and he know what I like. He done found me. You guys see this? Okay, so this is what the edges look like if they're not straightened out. And then this is what it looks like straightened out. Just if you want it, you know, a reference. So if you do want to wear like poofy and up, I feel like it looks best like this. But if you plan to wear your hair like straight and you want it like more on a flatter side, I say go with this. This looks beautiful. This hair got me feeling myself. Okay. So, and just to show you guys, this is actually human hair. Um, I'm using 500 degrees. I'm using 500 degrees on my hot comb and my hair is not burning or anything. So you feel it. Like, I could just, like, leave it on with no problem. And I could, like, really press it in to really make sure that I'm getting the roots. I either use 430 or 450 to actually straighten the hair. You see how easy that was to get that straightened? 
This hair is perfect. This is the best kinky curly hair that I've ever had. And I only had it like once because the one time that I did have it, I just didn't like it. But I feel like this having the 4C edges makes it a lot better. I feel like makes it look more natural. Plenty in my life. Problem is I meet this girl tonight. Then I go and treat her too nice. Gallery of credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife. But I do know one thing though. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. Monday through Sunday, yo. Maybe I'll love you one day. Maybe we'll someday grow. Till then I sit my trunk ass on that runway on this one way. Okay, so I went through and I flattened the hair, and this is what we're looking like. And I really hope you guys can't see my little ponytail in the back. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is the final results of the hair. Thank you guys so much if you stayed throughout the whole video. I really appreciate it, it means a lot. And also, you could use my discount code VROOK to receive a percentage off your purchase. And make sure you follow me on social media. Um, all my socials will be listed right here. And please turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. I really hope you guys like this. I actually have another wig review coming soon, so stay tuned. Please subscribe. It means a lot. I will be coming out with a lot of different videos. I have a late Valentine's video that I have to upload, and I want to do it because it will be including my nails. I hope that I was able to help you guys or give you guys some tips that helped a lot. And thank you. Bye.